Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Abigail Cloutier. It's been five days since the explosion of the Realty Building in downtown Youngstown. And no one has been allowed inside until structural engineers deem the building is safe. First News reporter Cheyenne Gibbons spoke to an engineer, got some insight into what engineers will look for when determining the safety of the building. The Realty Building is still standing five days later, but just because it's standing now doesn't guarantee that it'll continue to stand. The National Transportation Safety Board says structural engineers are investigating its integrity. Youngstown State civil engineering professor Enwarl Islam tells me what those engineers are looking for and how they could determine the building's status. If there are some beams damaged, the building will stay fine. But if there are some column damages, the building can collapse any time. I think we can put some drones and use some tracks and then get a better picture of the damages. Islam's PhD from Florida State is actually focused on bridge and structural blast resistance. He's not in Youngstown right now, but he's been keeping up to date with everything in the Realty Building. He says from photos and videos that this was a moderate explosion. He also says it's still standing because of blast resistance design, but he's extremely concerned. And if you look at the columns, the columns damages, that is to me pretty city. The NTSB determined no one can enter the building. There are also no scheduled briefings on the status of their investigation until the 30-day preliminary report. Islam says that the building is deemed safe, it's possible to rebuild. However, if it's unsafe... That's a big problem. You cannot send people by knowing that, that this building is not safe. You cannot send people to work. So you cannot send people to work, you just have to tear down the entire building. There's no, there's no other alternative. In Youngstown, Cheyenne Gibbons, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.